Hi, everybody. It's Brian Seiden, sticker here at Taxo Resources. Again, um, I don't know if you've been following kind of the series here, but we're talking about different strategies and how to utilize our refinancing program, which is one of our capital partnership programs. Um, so we've been talking about different ways you can use it. What I want to talk about here is some areas where it's not a good fit, right? Um, it's better to know these up front. So if it is a, a you know, strategy that you're looking to utilize, you might as well know I uh, don't don't start the process um, and and you know head uh, head it off the pass if you will. So some of the some of the ways that our refinancing program aren't good fits for your strategy. One is a is a long term um, I'll call buy and hold strategy. Whether that's um, you know making it into let's say an um, Airbnb or a rental or anything like that, where you plan on buying that property and holding it for years and years and years. Now. That can be the strategy overall, but the utilization of our program isn't going to get you to the, the end goal, right? We're going to be an interim solution. You you can utilize us for the initial purchase. You can utilize us for initial, you know, um, I'll say, equity out of, of one of those properties, but you need to have another solution in place that gets you past that first six or 12 months. Um, so we're, we're, we're much more of a bridging the gap between that initial purchase and when you have that long term long term financing in place. So just keep that in mind. So um, if you're holding, if you plan on holding that property as a rental or you plan on holding that property as a, you know, as a Airbnb or something like that, you need to have a, a, a permanent solution for us and get us out of that chain uh, of ownership within that six or 12 month term, uh, depending on what you choose um, for your term length, right? We don't like to go past that 12 months. Um, no matter what the potential finances look like, we're not a buy and hold strategy um, operation. And so we, you know, no matter what it looks like, we can't hold it past that time. Um, now, another one would be, you know, if you're going to sell it on owner finance, right? The way our program works is we take, we, we end up going in the chain of title on that asset. We take, we take assignment of that asset during the holding period. And so if you're used to buying a property at tax sale, turn around and selling it at owner financing, Unfortunately, our, our program is not a good fit um, really ever, um, unless you plan on doing something else right really quickly. Um, but you can't sell the property owner, fi owner financing while we're on that chain of title. It just doesn't work. Um, now, the other um, scenario where we aren't a good fit, or not aren't, but good fit, but just won't do in general, is refinancing a personal residence, right? Um, we're in the business of wanting to. Uh, um, enable investors in growing their their portfolio. Um, we do not want you to leverage your personal residence in doing that with us, right? If you've got some other solution, I guess that's up to you. Um, but we do not refinance personal res residences. So if it's a property that you currently live in or consider uh, um, your home, then that's not something that we can work with, right? No matter the scenario, right? So if it's your personal residence, if you have a buy and hold strategy, um, those are two the kind of scenarios where we don't work. The other areas where it can, got, it can get a little upside down is if you are assuming that the property is worth more than it is in its current state, right? Um, we've had this discussion with several investors who say, well, um, um, you know, this online resource, you know, says it's worth 250K. That might be true in its repaired state. But the assessment we're doing, right, and the valuation that we're coming up with and, and everything is, is based off of is the property in its current state. So if that property is worth $250,000 repaired, right, you got to back out the, the repairs that are required, right, the, the, um, you know, anything involved in, in making that happen, right. And so it might be worth $250,000 in its ultimate state, but currently it might be worth hundred, right. We're going to base all of our numbers off of that hundred. So keep that in mind as you're looking at potential properties to utilize our program for is it needs to be based on evaluation of that property in its current state as of today. Um, hopefully that helps uh, folks understand some, you know, some scenarios where our program doesn't work. There's still plenty of scenarios where that program, where our program does help. Um, and hopefully you all can find, you know, where those um, scenarios work for you. Um, if there's any questions on this video or any others in this series, certainly feel free to uh, reach out and ask those clarifying questions. Otherwise, we look forward to working with you and wish you the best of luck in, in your future investments. Good luck, everybody.